Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're gonna to be doing another road vehicle, and we're gonna be building this Walmart semi-truck here. And this is what it looks like. So let's get right into the build now. So we're gonna start off with the front wheels here. So come down here, put a block of coal, then on the upper hitbox over here, three smooth stone slabs and another block of coal. Then put a stone button on each of these wheels. On the front of it, on the upper hitbox, five smooth quartz slabs coming across. And then we'll do five birch signs coming across. Then a birch sign on this side here and on this side here. Then take out smooth quartz stairs and put a forward facing stair on each of these front corners with a glow item frame on each one. In the middle, do a double smooth stone slab and one on either side of the top like this, then two more rows of slabs above it. On the side of it, a white banner here and on this side. Behind this, two rows of three smooth quartz blocks in the center, then a smooth quartz slab here and another one on top. Same on this side, a slab here, another one on top. Then behind that, put three smooth quartz slabs on this middle right here, and two rows of three smooth quartz blocks above it. Then a smooth quartz stair here, and here facing backwards. Then behind this, on this upper hitbox of the lower level, we're gonna go five wide with smooth quartz slabs, and we're gonna make that seven blocks long. So a big rectangle of slabs, that's five by seven. Then on top of this, we'll fill the top middle three with smooth quartz blocks and a single layer to the back. On the side here, put a block on each end and one in the center. Then two slabs up here, two slabs up here. Repeat it on this side. So a block on each end and in the center. Then two slabs up here and two slabs up here. Now come on top with smooth quartz block and we're gonna come back by three on each side like this. Then a fence gate here and a stair here for the seat. Across here, we're gonna put three black stained glass blocks and a black stained glass pane behind it on each side, then a smooth quartz on each side. Then on the side right here, we'll put a birch sign and we're gonna type Walmart. Hit that with blue dye and a glowing sack. Do the same thing over here, a birch sign, type Walmart, hit it with blue dye and a glow ink sack. Then come right here and we're gonna put a temporary block and put a wither skeleton skull on it. Take out the temporary block and put a lever. Do the same thing on this side, so a temporary block, wither skeleton skull, and then a lever underneath it. Then we're gonna take out a smooth quartz stair, put one stair here, and one stair on this side facing forward. Then right here, three iron trap doors, and two rows of smooth quartz slabs up here. Then on top of the window, three smooth quartz stairs facing forward, then two rows of three smooth quartz blocks behind it. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna grab acacia buttons and put three acacia buttons up here. Then we're gonna come behind this, put an upside down smooth quartz stair on either side here and here. Then up here, four smooth quartz blocks on either side and come across the back right here. Then we're gonna do a column of two smooth quartz on each of these back corners. Then in front of it, two regular quartz on each side and another two regular quartz on each side. In front of that, two smooth quartz on each side. Then we're going to come on the side down here and take out a birch sign again. And we're going to type 12746 and then behind it an acacia button. Then repeat that on the other side. So we'll do a button and a sign 
with 12746. Then we'll need blue dye and a glow ink sack here. And we're going to hit the sign with blue dye and a glow ink sack. And then same thing over on this side here. Then up here, fill in this top with smooth quartz blocks across here. Then we're going to come here, put a warp stair in the middle and a smooth quartz stair on either side. Behind it, a 3x3 three three of smooth quartz blocks. Then on this top outside edge, we're going to do two blocks and a slab. And same thing on this side, a slab, two blocks. And on this top middle of the back, two rows of three smooth quartz slabs up here. Then we're going to come behind this. And actually, we're going to take out these three blocks and put in two rows of three diorite walls right here. Then right here, put another brick fence. Above it, three stone brick walls. And then another brick fence on top. Come on the side here, put three iron bars right here. And then same thing on this side, three iron bars right here. Next, we'll come up front with a frog light and put one on each of these glow item frames for the headlights. Then we're gonna make a banner for the mud flap, so come into a loom, black banner and brown dye, and do this fade. And then we'll come work on the back. We're gonna take out polished black stone slabs back here. And we're gonna come on the upper hitbox of the lower level, here and here, and we're gonna come back six blocks on each side then one on the back middle. Then on top of this, we'll go around it with polished black stone wall. Then we're gonna put a wall in the middle here and up here. Then take out coal for the rear wheels, one here, one here. Same thing on this side, one here, one here. And put a stone button on the side of all four of these wheels. Then take out that banner, put one here and one here. Then grab a glow item frame again. We're going to put one here and here with redstone blocks in them. Then take that banner we made and save it in your inventory. We'll need it later. Now take out smooth stone slabs up here. And we're going to put four on this top edge on this side. And four on this top edge on this side. Then we're going to continue the bottom of our trailer off this. So still using smooth stone slabs right here. We're gonna do a line of slabs coming back behind that, another 18 blocks long. And then same thing on this side, 18 more slabs coming back on this side here. Across this back, put three polished andesite slabs here. Then on bottom, on the next block behind it, we're gonna put two blocks of coal on each side skip two and two blocks of coal on each side again then take polished andesite slabs four through this middle two here two here two rows of three up here in the middle and another two rows of three up here then on the outer edge four more smooth stone slabs coming back and same thing on this side so it looks like this then we'll take stone buttons again we're going to put a stone button on the side of each of these wheels and one on each of these wheels over here. Then we're going to put another four smooth stone slabs coming back on each side here behind the wheels. And then three across this back middle here. Then we need to come to the bottom right under it and we need to be on the upper hitbox of this lower level. And we're going to put five slabs coming across here, then one here, and one here. Then we'll put a glow item frame here and here. Then we need to grab a redstone block and put one on each item frame. Then we're going to come inside here and take out white banners here. And we're going to be hanging them facing on the inside, so three here and three here. Come up here and we're going to do a full row of white banners coming forward along this. And up here we're actually going to stop two blocks 
before the back of the cab here. Same thing here, skip two blocks and then do a full row of banners right here. And I accidentally place one up there. Then we'll do the trailer's landing gear, so take a stone brick wall, put one here and one here. Then we need to get underneath here and get a polished andesite slab on the bottom of that wall, like that. Do the same thing on this side, get a polished andesite slab on the bottom of this wall, just like that. Next, come up here with smooth quartz blocks. Right here in the middle, we're gonna come three wide and five tall, so a three by five coming up. Then on this side right here, we're gonna stack smooth stone slabs to the top. And then same thing here, smooth stone slabs stacked to the top here. Then here, we're gonna fill in this whole side, five blocks tall, with smooth quartz blocks, and start bringing it down all the way to the rear end. Now our trailer's actually starting to take shape. Just keep it coming here. When we get to the back here, we're gonna stop one block before the very end and then stack smooth stone slabs to the top right here in the corner. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna fill this whole side in, five blocks tall with smooth quartz and start bringing that back. And just keep it coming here. And then same thing here, we're gonna stop one block before the end, and on the end, a column of smooth stone slabs to the top. Just like that. Then we're gonna come in and grab smooth stone blocks, and we'll come up inside here, all the way to the front, and we're gonna fill the whole bottom of this in, three wide with smooth stone blocks, and start bringing that down all the way to the back. right past these back wheels and back here stop one block before the very back and then fill the rest of this three wide to the top right here then fill this in three wide with diorite walls right to the top then come up here and we're gonna fill this whole top in three wide with smooth quartz blocks and bring that all the way to the other end of the trailer Then go back to smooth stone slabs, five across here. Then we're gonna come all the way down this top outside edge. And then five across the back. And then all the way down this top outside edge. Then go to smooth quartz slabs and we'll fill the whole top middle three in between here, end to end with smooth quartz slabs so the top of the trailer is all at the same height here. And bring this right down to here. Next, start in this bottom corner, do a stone button and a mangrove button. Skip a block, stone, and mangrove. Skip a block, stone, and mangrove. And keep repeating that pattern of buttons coming forward. And then stop when you're right here. And then of course we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So start in this back corner, a stone button, a mangrove button, skip one stone and mangrove, skip one stone and mangrove, and keep repeating that pattern all the way forward on this side. Then stop when we get right here and go to a polished blackstone button, put two here, 
and then three up here on the top. Repeat it on this side, three up here, and two down here. Then I forgot there's a logo on the back, so come back here. We're gonna knock out this wall and this wall, then the one in the middle below it, then this one and this one, and fill the holes with sandstone walls. Then down here, we're gonna put an iron bar and a birch fence gate. Then we're gonna put another glow item frame on each side with white stained glass block in each one. Then we're gonna come in and we need to grab an oak button this time. Come on the side, we're gonna put two buttons right here. And then same thing on this side, two buttons right here. Now come into a loom with a white banner and yellow die. Do a vertical, then another one with a horizontal in the middle. Then this diagonal and the opposite diagonal. This will be for the logo on the trailer. So we're gonna come place this here. We're gonna put this diagonal banner right here. Right above it, a horizontal stripe. Then the opposite diagonal above it. Then two vertical stripe banners like this. Then down here, this diagonal, a horizontal stripe, and this diagonal. Then we have to repeat it on this side. So we'll come right here and do this diagonal, a horizontal stripe, opposite diagonal, then two vertical stripe ones, then this diagonal, horizontal stripe, and this diagonal. Then we can clear all those off. And now we need to come back into a loom, this time with a white banner and blue dye. We're gonna put a vertical on each side and a triangle on bottom. New banner, a vertical on each side again, horizontal on the top and middle. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on bottom. New banner, vertical on each side again, upside down triangle on top. New banner, vertical on the left, top half blue, diagonal. New banner, vertical in the middle, horizontal on top. Then go to white die and put a white border on every single one of these letter banners. And then we'll come place them. So we're gonna come up on the side of the trailer, on the middle here, one block over from this logo, and we're gonna spell out the word Walmart with a gap of space between each of the banners. So it looks like that. Then we'll do the opposite side, same way. Skip a block back from this, and we'll spell out the word Walmart with a gap of space between each banner here. Just like that. Then we're gonna grab acacia buttons, put two up here in this corner, and two up here in this corner. Then on each top corner of the back, a glow item frame with a redstone block in each one. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Walmart semi-truck. I hope everyone enjoyed this road vehicle tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there.